Hello, my anorexic dolphins. King Cow! It is I, the X. Hello, guys. What is happening? My name is Ripper X. Welcome to my uh, my tortured psyche. This is this week's twisted thoughts uh, from myself, Ripper X. Now, uh, there's a new game out uh, in beta. It's closed beta, but uh, they are inviting players. The game is called Wizardry Online. Uh, now, a good buddy of mine, Richard Cox, uh, a couple days ago, just uh, put up a nice review on MMORPG.com talking about Wizardry Online. He uh, had a chance to play the game. He was in invited to participate in a developer-led tour uh, of the game. And he, he, had a, he had a great review. He talked about the game, and it definitely had some interesting points, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Main reason, there is PvP in the game. Uh, one step further, there is permadeath in the game. Your character can die. Uh, which means uh, you'll never be able to use that character again. You have to start all over. Now, a lot of people get upset with this. Some people love it. It's a weird niche uh, genre in that regard, just because uh, it does make it really interesting to, to play the game, uh, because you can die if you kill some guy. If you, if you PK some guy, you attack a player and kill him, he's essentially done. He has to start over. That said, there's some ways around it. Apparently, if you have some precious items on your character, uh, there are ways around it. I think there, it's, it takes a percentage. Uh, I want to get into that a little bit more. I don't know a lot about the game, but I wanted to talk to you guys about it. What are your thoughts on Wizardry Online? Uh, a lot of people said the gameplay footage, uh, the game itself, doesn't look too good. It looks like it's uh, like a 10-year-old game, but uh, the rule set is pretty awesome. Uh, there is a permadeath nature, and there's some hardcore players that were probably going to be really into this. Um, it's definitely something I'm interested in. I love PvP, and I love the fact that there is some kind of competitive challenge, and permadeath obviously is a scary uh, yet exciting feature in some games. So let's uh, quickly go over some of Richard Cox's uh, review. Richard says, Wizardry Online is not a game for Care Bears. At least, that's how it's being built. Given its permadeath nature, it's aimed squarely at the hardcore folks. Okay, so this is something that Richard uh, talks about that I agree with. He says, back in the day when I was routinely putting in 18 plus hour gaming sessions and had all of the free time in the world for MMOs, that might have been okay. Right now though, as someone who works one full-time job, two part-time jobs, and I'm putting myself and my wife through nursing school, I just don't have that type of free time anymore. Fortunately though, Todd explained the permadeath system and I was put a little bit more at ease. Apparently permadeath will be fairly rare as long as you keep yourself prepared. Basically, this is how it works. When you die, you will eventually be presented with a percentage chance of resurrecting. You can make offerings of items gold to increase that percentage chance. If you still fail to make that percentage chance, you get one more opportunity with a lower starting percentage. You can still make offerings to increase the percentage chance the second time around, but it's less likely you'll be able to get it up to 100%. So basically, you have to balance the risk of carrying around valuable gear so that you have items to sacrifice versus the risk of losing those items by failing a resurrection attempt. Now this is kind of like uh, Ashran's Call back in the days. With Ashran's Call, don't get me wrong, it wasn't permadeath. When you did die, you, you would lose uh, one of you know your most expensive items. A lot of a lot of players uh, would put valuable jewels and gems in their uh, inventory, if they did die, they would lose those gems rather than a good bow or a sword. So I like that fact. It's not 100% permanent. If you die, you're not going to totally get a character race. You have a chance of resurrecting again uh, based on your item. Now, Richard also says, to go along with the hardcore aspect of the permadeath, healing doesn't always come nearly as easily in Wizardry Online as it does in most other MMOs. There's no regeneration between combat. If you finish a fight with five hit points, that is what you will stay at until you rest at an inn. Or use a camp, or drink a potion. It really makes you take things slow and steady and think about your next move a little bit more strategically. Again, really good uh, review by Richard Cox. I'm going to put his review in the link in this video below. Go ahead and check that review out if you want more information. This is some of the gameplay footage. I gotta be honest with you, it doesn't look that good. The gameplay footage doesn't look that good to me. It, it looks like it is a, a recycled MMO from like 10 years ago. That said, the rule set makes it interesting. It's something I would definitely consider trying out because of the permadeath rule set and because of the risk involved. So hey, it's worth checking out. I do like the rule sets. I like the competitiveness. Again, a lot of hardcore players are going to be attracted to this. So it's something that I thought you guys should know a little bit more about. Again, there's going to be treasures. There's going to be dungeons. There's traps. There's enemies. There's going to be monsters you will have to fight as well as players. Uh, there's lawful players, neutral players, and, well... 
the bad chaotic players. The more people you do PK and kill, I believe you do get some kind of negative consequence. Uh, players who attack other players will be flagged as criminals. If your criminal status gets high enough, some NPCs will stop uh, interacting with you. You won't be able to shop at the nicer shops in town, stay at the nicer inns, etc. But fear not, most of the services you lose across uh, to the nicer parts of the town can be found in the slums for the criminal types and those uh, of ill repute. Again, thanks to Richard for an awesome review on Wizardry Online. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the graphics, but I do like the rule set. I did sign up for the beta. I will post a link to sign up for the beta below as well. Hopefully I can jump into the game soon and do a first impressions uh, for you guys. Again, this is my twisted, uh, tortured psyche thoughts. This is my uh, warped thoughts uh, for this week, guys. My name is Ripper X. Thank you so much for tuning in. For more information on Wizardry Online, go ahead and check out MMORPG.com. We have some links below as well underneath this video. Okay, thanks so much guys. Ripper X signing off.